So we had our first little incident. First trip dropping this thing off. I got my pops with me. So the hood here flew up while I was riding. So we just got some bungees, secured it. Lesson learned. Anytime you're picking up a salvage vehicle, make sure the hood is, is uh, secured, even if you think it is. So it's the little things, guys. The little things that we're learning. This is all a part of it. Really look at and think about while I'm out here. I'm gonna check the straps, make sure they're good. Check the straps again, make sure they're good. Stay nice and tight. Nice and tight. Really good, secure. Also, I'm looking to see how this vehicle has moved. So far, so good, it has not moved. This thing, let's get it rolling. All right, guys, just dropped off my first official load. Went well, made a good contact, learned some stuff, got some new knowledge, um, and just building relationships, one step at a time, one drop at a time. You know, are you gonna get rich off this quickly? No, but again, like I said, that's not my objective, but I'm learning a lot right now. Be a person, be respectful, be a, a, a human being, and you'd be surprised what you'll be able to learn in this thing. All right, guys, pick up number two. Figure out where we got to park. Concord. All right, guys, got the second car for the day loaded. Got one more coming. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get this thing strapped down. I think I'm going to switch up the type of straps because the wheels don't look, yeah. They're not in great shape, so yeah, we're gonna knock this thing out. This is a wide body. Got pop over here, make sure everything's secure. Good to go. Got the challenger done. Strapped in tight. Looking good. I will say, these salvage vehicles are much easier to uh, get strapped down, make sure it's effective, safe. You don't have to worry about as much of, uh, I'm gonna be extra careful on it. Just because they are what they are. They've lived the life they've lived. Yeah, like transportation, logistics, that makes sense. Just like that, car number two's dropped off on the number three. All right, drop number two's done. And we're moving on to number three. This one's only like five miles down the road, so hopefully it'll be a pretty quick process. All right, so pick up number three. This one, like I said earlier, is only five miles down the road or whatever, so it's not gonna be far. Number three, last one of the day. Actually, after this, I'm gonna try to see if we can find another load headed back towards home. If it is, that's a great thing, not naturally. That way, you're making money on the way home, and then I'll probably sit it, sit at the load. My son has soccer practice today, so I gotta get home. Another benefit of doing this this way on your own time. Um, I'm not interested in being out on the road and missing a whole lot of things, so this is what we're working on, this is what we're doing. So hopefully I can find a load, and if so, pick that up and head on back. All right, 
right, car number three. Just walked around, did the checks. Got it all tightened down. Again, this is only going four miles. That doesn't mean we need to cut corners, but it does take some of the stress off of having to watch as much for as long. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gonna strap this hood up and be out of here. Last delivery done. Empty bed. Waiting to get the signature so we can hit the road. I've got to go to Discount Tire to get another spare. And then I've got to hustle home to get home in time for the, uh, time for soccer practice for my son. So we'll see how this goes. Pumping some more gas. First gas pumping. Got us some good Sonic food. I don't even like Sonic like that pop, but as hungry as we are today, it tastes like steak. <laughs> Filet. Mignon. Closing out the day. And we're getting out of here. We'd love to have a, a car on this thing, but I don't have time to do this tomorrow anyway.